Hey, it's me, Bad Bee. I'm back. So I thought I would do a vlog about my parents. My mum finally came back from Thailand and they came to visit. It was good because my mother-in-law had never met my mom yet. I was kind of dreading it. They came down for the weekend. I put them up in a quest near my mother-in-law's house because even though my mother-in-law was like, they can stay here, my parents were like, no. So ugh. put them up in the quest. I'm just so surprised. They've aged so much. My poor dad with his veganism, he brought a whole bunch of snacks. All these nuts, a crazy amount of nuts, and lemon from the, his lemon tree to make lemon water in the morning, Himalayan salt to go with his salt water in the morning, his sugar-free chocolate that he gets from Safeway. My mom is not mobile anymore. She needed my dad to go up and down stairs. If I'd have known that, I would have booked them on the ground floor. They arrived pretty late because it's a fair drive from where they are to here. We decided to go down to the bay and have dinner at the Royal Hotel in Mornington, which would have been really nice because they're so far inland, they're so far away from the sea. It's an old timey pub that's also a hotel. The interior is really nice and everything. Service was pretty meh, food was really meh. I originally picked it because my husband and I went there a year ago and they had this amazing vegan thing that was a quarter of a pumpkin with all these spices and tahini and stuff. They didn't have that. I thought they would still have it. They didn't have it because I thought dad could eat that, but it was this disgusting cauliflower Thing, braised in curry water it looked horrible dad also got dips and veggie sticks to go with the dips he said it was nice but again there was bread and he's like oh just eat it it's like oh my god my mother-in-law and i both ordered these meatballs but i think it was an entree serving of meatballs because it was really small 24 dollars, which was kind of expensive my mom got lasagna which i think was also an entree but she couldn't finish it anyway my dad he tries to grow as many fruit and vegetables as he can and he brought down some pumpkin and capsicum lettuce i think for my mother-in-law so there's that pumpkin the next day i thought my parents and i could go to the mclellan sculpture park but mom was like i don't want to go there i don't want to walk around so then mom was like i want to go to springvale get some asian things i was fine with it because i could eat asian food uh my dad didn't know how to use so he has this like navigator thingy but it hasn't been updated in 10 years so it doesn't have all the new roads on it so i ended up just using my google maps my mom wanted to get her nails done so i was like okay you can get your nails a manicure and a pedicure done I thought she could get us in this or something. Dad was coming back from parking the car, so then he and I went to walk around somewhere. I come back. And then they're like, oh, we did SNS and gel. And I was like, what do you mean SNS and gel? You don't need both types. And they were like, yeah, we already did it. So yeah, you have to pay us. And I was like, what? Are you serious? It was Springvale, right? Which should be cheap. $105 for a manicure and a pedicure because they conned my mom into getting both types. I was like, mom, what even? And she's like, I don't know. They just said it was the best. I'm like, of course they're going to say it's the best. So we just stood outside. <laughs> I mean, look, my mom's nails look nice. I'm not saying they didn't look nice. My mom, she has diabetes, but she is the most unhealthy person ever. She got four sugary drinks. You know those sugar cane, like freshly pressed sugar cane juices? She got four in one day. Mom, you shouldn't be having any sugar. Can't even have carbs if you're diabetic. We're trying to find somewhere for dad to eat. Dad had gone to this other far place that could also do vegan far. So we went there. It was kind of a bit of a hike. They're really cute walking around together holding hands. My grandparents used to do that as well. It was really sweet. Anyway, so dad got the vegan pho. My mum got this laksa noodle soup. Okay, I've never had laksa before and I already decided I didn't like it because I hate curry. But then I tried it and it's delicious. I think I'll get it next time. I got, oh, what's it called? I don't remember. The Vietnamese noodle salad with vermicelli and I got it with crispy pork. Walked around a bit more. My mum wanted to go to the shops. We had to find something that was vegan for dad to eat so i was like let's have vietnamese again and the interior of this place was so kitschy and exactly what boomer white people would think vietnam was like we were the only asians in the restaurant aside from the people working there by the way the food was really good though i really liked it servings were massive my dad got stir fried vegetables and rice my mom and i both got crispy noodle i got it with did i get pork no i got it with chicken and veggies my mom got it with pork but she couldn't eat it all my mom complains she's like this isn't how i would make it it's just like mom well you didn't make it yourself so just deal with it we tried to take a photo together that's my parents i don't know do you think i look more like my mom or my dad i'm not sure I found this 
the red or something in my noodles. I didn't say anything, but I was just like, hmm, that's interesting. These are the veggies that my dad grew for my mother-in-law. It's a pumpkin and two capsicums. The next day. They were going home. But I met them in the morning so we could have breakfast together. I got smashed avo with poached eggs. It was delicious, actually. I was really impressed because sometimes smashed avo was really hit and miss. My mom, she's so unhealthy and she never eats all the food. She'll order something and have like one bite. Anyway, she got scrambled eggs on toast with bacon. My dad got gluten-free vegan breakfast, but it had a hash brown. And he's like, I don't want to eat the hash brown. So we gave it to mom. His came with gluten-free toast. And I was like, dad, you can eat the toast. And beet hummus and avo and beans and stuff. Yeah, really good. They had to drive four hours back. I was like, let's walk around. We can go by the beach because it's really nice. So we did. <laughs> oh, my God. They were facing the sun. <laughs> they are just like squinting. <laughs> they both have transitions lenses. And I guess they're not good sunglasses. Oh, yeah. And then we walked past this statue that oh it looks like a Thai eggplant and then my dad's like yeah Thai eggplant but it what was it kangaroo apple indigenous food here's my dad trying to read the sign because he's like mm, Thai eggplant and it's like no kangaroo apple <laughs> took a photo of them by the beach tried to take a photo of all of us by the beach this one actually turned out okay they drove back to their house just four hours away and they texted me when they got home but mum's like i wanted to go to spring valley and so poor dad had to go all the way back to spring valley it's not even on the way i mean i love it but small doses good times so that was when my parents came to visit for the weekend stay tuned for more i guess live things again yeah i don't want to be this person but please like and subscribe <laughs>